The lore of fire is, in my opinion, slightly underused. Um, you have the, the flaming sword of ruin, increases missile damage and weapon damage. Can be good for buffing both. If you're in a scenario where you're engaged and you have skirmishers behind, you can buff the missile damage and the weapon damage and do damage very rapidly. The lure of fire is all about damage. Uh, same with the cascading fire cloak. Only costs 5, 8 second recharge. On a unit of greatswords or demigriffs, they become absolutely terrifying with an increase in 36% of armor piercing and plus 36 melee da defense. Uh, the higher armor piercing a unit has, the more damage they will do with this spell. So demigriffs, halberds, great swords will do massive armor piercing damage with this spell. And of course a character uh, will also do a lot of damage with this spell. The fireball. Longest range of the magical missiles. If you upgrade it, it increases the fire damage. Um, it's not as good as the others for character sniping, but it has an explosion, so it can be nice against the multiple units and against low armor enemy wizards. It can be very nice. Uh, it homes in and you won't miss with this spell. At least I haven't seen it miss yet. Um, uh, if you're able to hit low armor enemy targets, you can do a lot of damage. The Flamestorm, standard Vortex, it has all of the weaknesses and potential strength of, uh, strengths of the Vortex. It's unreliable, if it hits it can do a lot of damage. But the Burning Head, I mean, I've, the Burning Head, I've, I've, I've killed so many units with the Burning Head. Um, lost for 40 seconds if you upgrade it, it only costs 40% more for double, uh, double the duration uh, of uh, the Burnt minus 8 leadership. Lost for five seconds after it's uh, it's touched the unit, but it has the weaknesses of the vortex spells in that it uh, it can go where you don't want it to. Then we have a bombardment, the piercing bolts of burning. Uh, this is this is a spell that's best used for engaged or stationary enemy units. So if you have a if you're able to cast a spell where a lot of enemies are engaged, they can do a lot of damage. If you upgrade it, it increases the number of missiles cast. But of course, you risk damaging your own wizard. So uh, it's not as specific. The lore of fire is not as specific as the lore of death or the lore of light. But it's, in my opinion, it's a very visual and very fun lore. And uh, although not the most powerful, uh, you can have a lot of fun with the lore of fire. Strength and honor.